Hello and welcome on Bank of Opinion. So, today I was planning on starting up the pyramid for Archon, but unfortunately I kind of ran out of material to build the pyramid with in the first place, so that section of the build is going to have to wait. But for now, I'm just going to be clearing this. I dug into it and worked my way up. It's got access to a witch spawner and some skeleton spawners. Not too far away. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clear this side first. That is a really red biome. Stick to the right a little bit. It's empty. We'll take the honey and slime. Oh, I even realized or think about going downwards. Right, I'm gonna start at the very end. I'm gonna get way over here. It goes up to. Okay. I will be struggling to figure out all this stuff. I'm gonna start over here. Red one. Attack, dang it! I'm currently in my defense mode. On the right spot. Oh no, I am. So I'll just add it right here. Those are some really red trees. There's a luscious cave under that biome. Cause I never actually cleared one of these before. First time in it. That hurt. Why didn't the other sword switch? Come on. Pop that down right there. Alright, so now they shouldn't be spawning up there. Apparently there's up, so I need to find my way up. And this is the next one I'm clearing. They're just burning right now. Are they burning? Oh, they're not burning. Alright, so these are annoying. I'm just gonna get rid of this spawner. Goodbye. This guy's their knockback arrows. Oh my god. Uh. There's another 
lost my armor. Skeletons with knockback arrows suck. Is it my chest piece? My chest piece. Center. Why can't I got no chest piece? What was that? Knockback piercing infinity. Allows bows to fire normal arrows. Free. But it only works on bows. If I worked on crossbows, I'd totally be using it. I know. Okay. Really? I see where it spawned. Not anymore. I don't have any more. I need to make some room for these. Hear it. I just don't see it. There's a lot down there. Can't quite reach right there. Knock me off right there. Oh boy. That's a lot of them down there. Hello! Ow, ow, oh! I need my armor. I can't do this without armor. Oh, looks like I'm not quite ready to clear that just yet. Dang it. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. Like a little house. There's a little house and there's gold in it. Don't mind if I do. Bag of souls. I'll take that, thank you. And I'll be teleporting home because I can't quite do the dungeon I wanted to do. How oh, unfortunate. I'm not playing vanilla Minecraft, so it wouldn't really serve for very much amusement, good sir. I'll be able to gain everything back. Put my bottle of O oh, enchanting over there. Iron doesn't go in there. So I wanted to click. I have a lot of bones. Or do something with bones. Can I do something with bones? Bones. I can make bone blocks. Right, how can I get bones? Oh. I don't know, hopefully. Oh, it's bone mill. I can turn the bones into bone blocks. But the question is, what can I do with bones then? Besides tame dogs. Bone mill, bone scythe, bone club. Make a bone club. That attack speed is atrocious. 
Never mind. Oh, I can make... Oh, never mind. I don't have enough leather for this. Bow and bow. Bow and bow. Got a little bit of armor. Because the attack damage is pretty nice. Oh, right. I forgot this was a thing. Oh, attacks with axes. Up to 20% damage when injured. Immersive armors. It gives one toughness. Chills. What is this? I can hang some bones. <laughs> Alright, so I'll make... I'll take some. I'm gonna leave a stack of bones at least for a later use. All right, so I have heaps of string. Way to make string. No, what can I do with string? Wind chimes. There's heaps that I could do with string. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I guess it's the string is staying. Iron. Emerald. Diamond. It is. I'll drop. What is this? A flowering a lily pad. Interesting. Alright, let's make some... Bone meal. Make some bone blocks. Alright, I have three. Really? It did it again. Why is it going to make it more complicated than it needs to be? There. 42 bone blocks. I'm going to put the bone blocks in here. Ah, oh, I have more. You can even see that. I'll go show off the area that I was going to do the arc on for real quick. Even though it is nighttime. So, so this is going to be the Archon area. The one here is pretty much just going to be an arena to fight bosses. And above is going to be all the, the blocks for the build. Zombies are spawning. I already have the mycelium growing and everything. No, I just need to get more, more blighted stone. I'll be good to go. Problem is, is the blighted stone though. It takes ages, which is why I need a bunch of bone meal. I'll do that later on my own time. Just bone mealing a spot, just to break it all down. Well, really, I use bone meal and water. I'll bone meal a spot then water it. That's roughly what I would do. Oh. 
But I thought I had more. Well, not more, but enough blinded to at least get most of the pyramid up so I can start. But unfortunately, that is not the case. I have enough at least to get the walls up. Hopefully. So the idea for the Archon building spot is the bottom half I'm doing a miniature primary pyramid, which I'm probably going to stick with for all of the 3x3 Three by three pyramids. I thought about making it bigger, but I think it should be fine with this size. Cause this this pyramid turned out way bigger than I was prepared for, to be honest. It did. It is a lot bigger than I was expecting. So I have a lot more. <laughs> I need the heaps of blighted. Ugh. So the central point is here. I don't know why I put this one down. I didn't need to. I'm going up a three, and the wall is going here. Because it's going to be a roof. Like that one. But can I just jump up? Oh no. I barely can't make it. Oh, can't make that either. That's fine. That's pretty much the idea. So it is here, this one. Pretty much doing that. I'm gonna be putting blighted wood right here though. I just had to separate because I didn't have the blighted wood on me, which I didn't grab when I ran over here, which I really should have grabbed. So I can easily do this, and they're gonna be three thick. I'm gonna be doing that on all four sides. That's the plan, and that's what will be done. I'm gonna go around the side and fix up the land next to it though. But this is pretty much what it's gonna be. I'm still debating if I wanna leave. No. There won't be any room. Not really room, but a way. I'm doing a, a normal size, that's that's not gonna be the starter point. So this is this doesn't need to be here. If it's gonna be anything like that one, going up is gonna like end like way over here. Which is fine, that's why I want two chunks away. Maybe I, sh maybe I shouldn't do that. Mm 
And now I'm second guessing. If it was such a good idea. Oof. If I do it like a normal experiment from this point, it would fit and would work, and I'd still have a bunch of room to do what I need to do and have room down here to fight. So I could just do that. So I just got rid of all that for absolutely no reason. I think I'll just do that instead. I'm doing what I originally planned. That'd make it way too big for the area that it would be taking up. So this... This is wrong. So we're just gonna go up from the central point, which is right here. Take a one up for now. Until we hit the central square. Ah! It's fine. What side am I on? I am on the... I'm on the left side. Okay. It looks like I have that in the... Actually, did I ever center? I don't think I centered the... I can easily center it. It's just fine. Yeah, this is definitely going to be tall enough for me to have plenty of room. Come on, left, left. All right, so this is the central point right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. Yeah, all right, so this is the central point. Hey, nice. All right, anyways. Now I gotta go through and break. Luckily, I don't have to worry about falling. This mycelium will protect me. Fall damage. But it's less stressful. it'll be doing the side so much easier. How much do I have left? Oh, just this, this is very little. I think I'll do the same for the blinded wood right here, so I'll break this out. Good day there, Tool. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're from the Dauntless Days there, good sir, which I'm assuming what you're referring to. Uh, honestly, I haven't had nothing but bad experience from the people that I 
that used to watch me from the Dollars days. I'm just getting... Most of them I'm just leaving bad... Bad reflection, I should say. How so? Uh, not really like... What's a good way to put it? Not really rude. Just more of an annoyance than anything. Because if you're here wondering if I'm ever going to go back to Dauntless, no, I'm not. So, if you're wondering that, you can go ahead and unfollow and go. But if you're here because you liked me and you miss me, hello, welcome, good to see you again. Come back. Oh, I'm right. No, I'm not going back. Definitely. Definitely not. Join me. Dev. You know what? For, for you, Dev, I would play a little bit for you. In other words, the... What I was saying, Tool. The... Me, I left behind... Or from Dallas, I no longer miss. I used to miss them. They were pretty cool. But now, no. Now I wouldn't go back for them, even if they came over here and subbed a bunch. Well, they can't sub. But, no. No, nah, good sir. Anyways, with that said and done another way, Hope you've been well and enjoying your time in your gaming there, Tool. Deep stance to take? Uh, I could explain it a lot better if I was good at explaining things, but I'm not. I'm terrible at explaining things, so I apologize for that. That is one of the many weaknesses I have. But me as myself, I'm doing pretty good. I am quite happy. Especially today. I hope you're doing just as good, Tool. Hope you've been enjoying yourself. Just so dev. High five? High five indeed. Because I'm clapping. A lot of work to be doing. Don't forget to take your relax time. Don't want to work yourself too hard and get burnout, good sir. That is. That is never a good thing. Definitely want to make sure you get your R&R. &R. Get to rest. And get that R&R. &R. I work at a customer service job. That could definitely be a stressful... A stressful thing, man. Especially since you're going to be taking the brunt of everybody's anger for said individual company that you were working for. Which makes things all the worse. So definitely make sure you get your rest. Definitely. Smite flying enemy. That needs to stay. Boat, bucket, cobblestone will stay. Shears, knife. I'm gonna get rid of that knife. That's backup armor. Which I completely forgot about. Sticks. Is that another diamond sword? Uh, 
that is true, but I am a adult and I can handle it. Too. Should be able to handle it and be able to push it, but even so, don't bottle up your frustrations. Don't want to bottle it up, good sir. You may have extended your breaking point, but your mental health is important. Very much so. So even though you, you could take it, you could probably take heaps of it. Even more so since you're getting those nerves of steel working in the customer service. You're gonna take care of yourself. Because once that burnout sets in, it ain't going anywhere. And it'll just keep adding to it. Oh, a wise man over here. I'm not wise. I appreciate the kind words, though. Wait, fish goes with over here. That's right, that's right, that's right. Obsidian fish. What can I do with obsidian fish? I get obsidian from obsidian fish. Sharpness and looting. Loyalty. I wonder if I could put this on the trident. Hey, what? Trident. Oh, so there is one. I didn't make it the trident. I could make a harpoon. Harpoon crossbow. Imagine. Imagine. But it's good to hear you're doing good. Good to hear. Hair's squeaking. I think that's a flamingo. Soft stuff on my person. I need to get rid of. Um, Alright, that is- oh, I was gonna make a spyglass, that's right. Two copper. And but th there it is. Move. Hey. have this my offhand. Oh, that, that'll get me sick real quick. At least I can snipe with this now. Like sitting far away. Zoom in with that. Get the vertical set. Haha! <laughs> nice. Oh, I have elevators that I can take. I want to see what it looks like from uh, the very top. Very, very, very top. Five. Are there any games you're looking forward to, Tool? Any in particular? There's a few I am looking forward to. I am curious to see what yours are. Sorry? I was asking what, uh, if there's any games that you were looking to forward to in the near future. Or curing coffee, Hey, How you taking the coffee? Hi, coffee connoisseur over here. Actually just finished. A cup of coffee myself. 
It's a dungeon tower. I got a pretty good view up here. It's not much to look at, but I got the bayou to look at. Oh, that's where it was burning. I didn't realize I can see where the forest fire was. That's ash. What can I do? Is there anything special for ash? You like your coffee black? I like my coffee black time from time to time. I do like putting honey in my coffee though. That's honestly mainly because honey can help with allergies. My allergies can get pretty bad. So honey helps. So I have honey in my coffee from time to time. You doing the, uh, the build list? I've seen more and more people playing Fortnite now that they added the, like, the build list one. That doesn't require you to just build like crazy. I've never been good at shooters. Competitively, I should say. Let's go get that bear. I'm gonna go get that bear. Where was that bear at? I don't remember where that bear was. I think it was back towards Bayou, right? You over here. All right, that way. I have been playing Valorant. Yeah. Oh, Cycle. Oh, Cycle, huh? I read that wrong. I thought she. I read that as the Cycle for Fortnite. <laughs> Like, okay, ne never mind. I read it wrong. Excuse me. I read that as you're waiting for the cycle of the Fortnite season. I was a little confused because you said season three. I was like, I'm pretty sure Fortnite is past season three, but I don't, what do I know? I don't pay attention to it. And then I reread it and you, and you said it again. So like, I played Cycle Frontier. Cycle Frontier is pretty fun. Not very good at it, so I kind of kind of socked at the the PvP aspects. That's just because I don't have the accuracy. I was born with a negative accuracy. This brings back uh, Overwatch memories. My main character I played in Overwatch was Reinhardt. <laughs> <laughs> he was melee. That was pretty good. Alright, I was pretty good. It was Reinhardt. It's Revy. Revy. I got something for you later. Where's that bear at? I want that bear. There he is. Bear. Let's go. Come on, bear. following me so he's not following me anymore here come on Jeez. uh if it's what i think it is maybe uh lowering your sensitivity and dpi of your mouse That's, yeah i've i mean don't get me wrong i've tried uh, a lot of the quote-unquote tips and tricks for improving said accuracy i just it's just not for me it's one of the skills i lack but it happens. One of the things I do excel at that I can proudly say is that uh, the really close range for shooters. Like back when I was playing CSGO, I loved, I loved playing the game mode where <laughs> if you knife somebody, they lose progress in the the game mode, you, and I don't remember what it's called, it's like you shoot somebody, you get enough kills with that weapon, and it switches, but if you get knifed, it you revert back. I made people rage at me so hard by that game mode, because I just run around knifing people. Because <laughs> I couldn't shoot him. I couldn't shoot him for the life of me. So I did that instead. It was fun for a time. I 
I'm also better at, uh, rather than hit scan, projectile. Projectile, uh, shooting, I'm a bit better at than, than anything. I really hope the Iron Golem doesn't attack this bear. I'm gonna be sad. I'll be real sad. I don't want my bear to die. I just got him. What? Come on, bear. What you want the fish? Dreading for a creep. That's all I was dreading. Creepers. There's another creeper. I know I saw one. Ruby, how you doing this morning? Oh, shoot. Right, instead of movement speed, I'm going to go defense. I'll be slower. type of things yeah proje the projectile the projectile base i'm better at doesn't mean i'm good right i'm comparing my accuracy with hit scan and that it's the hit scan is only hit scans in some games a lot of the time it's just a very very fast projectile where it's almost hit scan but not hit scan i'm poor with those But turning more towards like the bullet you were talking about where it's a bit slower, requires more leading and stuff like that. I'm a bit better with those. At those quite quite much. I'm kinda interested in playing Minecraft. You make it actually look fun. I do make it look fun. I'm currently play it's um if you want to try out some packs, Revy. Of course you'll have to get Minecraft, but I am using CurseForge. It is a, it's another launcher. It houses all of the, the Minecraft mod packs. I'm currently playing Medieval Minecraft. It's the latest version of Minecraft. And they added the, an animation pack. So I'll go in third person so you can actually see, but it has some animations to it. It makes it more, more inclined to another RPG. There's no dodging, but there are some, some that do add some dodging if you're into that. Or you can go third person, first person, which is looking like this. And honestly, it feels a little bit better than a first person. Animation's a bit better. Also seems a little bit faster, too. I'm gonna stick with this. Alright, come on, bear. Uh, it's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, everybody has their weaknesses and strengths when it comes to certain things. I'm fully aware of this, and I've already embraced that I have terrible accuracy. Like another, I'll go back there, Ragnarok. Another one. I have an arrow in my face. Another good game that is a lot of uh, that has both of the aspects I was talking about is Destiny. Now, Crucible itself is pretty bad nowadays, but you gotta keep in mind Destiny is designed to be a PVE first, then PVP. PvP was added from a PvE game. 
Ooh, oh, it's a creeper. The boss creeper. So a lot of people complain about that, but you can have it both ways. It's either you have a good PvP game with a lackluster PvE game, or you have a good PvE game with a lackluster PvP game. There's hardly ever been a noteworthy PvP PvE game that's been pretty good. So no matter what you do, you'll always get people that go to a PvE game that has PvP expecting the PvP to be better or just as good as the PvE game. And my Ice Crucible is just there for kicks and giggles, right? It was never- oh shoot. It was never really meant to be a big staple point to Destiny, not mind. I'm still doing it, I still think it's fun though. Anyways, I love using bows in Crucible and then punching people. I play a Titan. I haven't played many mod packs in Minecraft, like this tech crap. I lean more towards magic, magic y stuff in Minecraft. There's not a lot of good. There's not a lot of good magic mods anymore. Which is, which is really sad. My favorite one was Thomcraft, but Thomcraft died out. It was very unfortunate. It died out like five times, let's be honest. <laughs> Where'd my sticks go? Alright, come on, bear. Hey, why are you being complicated and going like that? I'm gonna be practicing some stuff. Is there- are you looking to get any tuned to any tournaments for Guilty Gear, Revy? I'm keen to watch those! I have been playing, playing Volt Hunter. I actually have Volt Hunter installed. The only problem is I haven't really got to play it. Oh shoot. I really got to play it because, I mean, look at the build I'm doing. I got heaps of it to still do. So it's gonna be a while before I can really do anything else because a lot of my all my downtime is preparing and getting ready for really the next uh next session. It turned out a lot bigger than uh, I was planning. Uh but it's mm. tough. People are very good at Guilty Gear. I've been watching a few of the a few of the people that you've fought against. Have you been pretty good? Like the uh, the one yesterday. I don't know the name of the character. It was the, the one that was using the yo-yos. I saw you were struggling against that one. Jet. It's a news character. Uh, that is a massive version of you got. Let's hope you won't lose interest of it. The only way I'll lose interest in it currently is if the mod, uh, the mod author decides to update the Minecraft and it breaks all of this. Then, uh, then I'll lose interest and do a different build. But I'm looking to actively finish the pyramid that I start. Because I've started like three or four of these builds, but never finished. Because every time something happens, and then I can't finish. So the current plans, I'll go over the current plans again. It's very cool. It should look fun. Yo-Yo seems like it'd be hard to keep track of. So all of this, you can see the slight outline that I did. All of this is going to appear. This was the original, right? This was going to be the pyramid. I was just going to do this. And I realized how big it was going to be for what I was going to do. Because I had the bright idea to segment the pyramid off. There's not going to be anything here. So it's going to be empty. Actually, villagers are going to go there. But that's different. So each one of these segments all the way around are going to be 
animals and plants. So this is pretty much going to be my farmland, right? Except for the very top, it's going to be just all water. I'm going to I'm going to make it an aquarium just because. But farmland, 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 farmland. All of it's going to be farmland. So this wall will be pushed out to here. Oh, let me also go like this. So each, uh, when I build out each, each mod is going to get his own, its own little segmented area like this that actually requires it. One that I'm currently working on for the one over there. This is just a segmented breaker so I can push out farther, but still make it look nice. So that right there is, oh wait, it's our chon. So. The reason why it's getting a big pyramid is not because it has very many blocks to build with or anything like that it requires multi-structure constructs is because it's bosses. So I'm having the lower part, the lower part being an arena for these because there's three bosses and there's a summoning ultra that goes down. So I'm going to be putting this in the middle. Now, that's just one part. What's one part? That's just a building. And everywhere I build, I'm going to be spreading mycelium. So like this, how you see it's out like that. That's going to be kind of a staple point to a lot of the build area. Now I'll be doing build outs like this over here, here, and here. And everything in between is going to be something that's like that. And all of this grass is eventually going to be turned into mycelium. And all the trees will be mushrooms. That's the plan. It is definitely going to take a long time. And this is the test house, right? This is what I'm going to be dotting all over. I'm going to be dotting red mushrooms. And this is going to be the villager house. Yep, this is their house. Well, spreading the mycelium is not going to take as much. Now that I found a quick and easy way to do it. So the mycelium is not going to be the annoying part. The annoying part is going to be getting the blighted stuff. Getting the blinded blocks is going to be the annoying part. And dealing with the bayou trees. The bayou trees are going to be annoying. Alright, where's my bear? Isn't that adorable? Isn't that... I love it. Just, just munching on the... Just love it. Yeah, I'm using them because they're about to break. I have two more just waiting. The only problem is I keep getting axes from all my stuff. Yeah, most of the most of the diamond tools that I have now, why they have just random enchants they are from boss spawns that just randomly spawn and start attacking me. Except for the chest piece I got from clearing a dungeon. I got that from clearing a dungeon. Oh, right. That goes in here. And an added benefit of building, or limiting myself to building on mycelium, 
is that I get special bonuses depending on which mode I am in. I'm in defense mode. I'll get immunity to knockback. Nothing will be able to knock me back. Attack mode, get more damage, but I also get increased attack speed. The mobility mode, I will jump higher, like this. And when I'm off this, I don't jump as high. So, home field advantage. Which is going to be super nice for when I start doing the bosses in Bewitchment and the Archon. That's why I have Mycelium in here. And another reason why I like doing Mycelium. It's also just a limiting factor, right? If I don't have a limiting factor to my builds, I will... This, this turned out way bigger than I was actually wanting it to be. So the limiting factor there is actually making it take ages. Because that was just going to be the pyramid. What turned into this. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But it happened. But I either like doing that or building underwater. Something to slow my roll. Because if I don't, I'll go too quick. And then I will be done with Minecraft. Because I'll be everything and already overpowered. I need to figure out what I want to put up here. If it's down on the first floor, it's going to be open so villagers can come in and out. I'm trying to think right now. Thinking, thinking. So all the mushrooms I have to play with are yellow, red, orange, purple, polka dotted blue, green, brown, and pink. Those are all the mushrooms I've found thus far. Actually, hold on. I think there's another one that I haven't put up yet. Let me go grab it. Unfortunately, the nether shrooms only grow in the nether, so I can't do the nether shrooms. At least two of the nether shrooms. The warped one and the crimson. Did that chicken get out again? How do you keep getting out? Stop jumping out of this. How are you getting out? I thought I put sticks up so you can't get out. I want to see how he gets out, but I'll never see it. And the nice thing is that the orange, purple, and green are a light source. That's why you don't see me have any torches down other than a few spots. They don't grow normally. I have to bone meal them. But these are all I want to see. I don't have these ones down yet. Why are you just staring at that? Is that mesmerizing you? Yeah. Alright, I think I play some Valorant. Win some matches, good sir. Have fun. Take care. It's good seeing you talking to you again. Give a wall for us to your day. Welcome here anytime. Welcome here anytime. So that's what these ones look like, huh? Another green one? Alright. 
Is that all the ones I have? I think that's all the ones I've put down, because I already put down a few. Okay, so we got Phone Guy. I don't think I have these down. Oh, biome? What biome is this from? I don't have my biome book. I think it might be from, uh... It might be from the nether, or end. So we got the withering one, which is what I have, and I love the tree, it's awesome. No mushrooms there, no. I know there's a bunch in the end. There's a bunch in the end. Let's, uh, let you go on a trip. I only have seven ender eyes? That's not gonna be enough. I'll be able to mark down though. So let's hope it doesn't break, eh? Alright. Which way am I heading? Am I heading north? Am I heading south? West. I'm looking west now. The eye doesn't want to be used. What do you mean it doesn't want to be used? Ow! What? Is this is this not the right eye? It was it was blaze powder in What do you mean it doesn't want to be used? What does it even mean? So apparently I can't go to the end fortress like that. That's cool. It's unexpected. It's definitely not what I was expecting to happen. Doesn't want to be used. What is this? Soul Star. This is the bosses of mass destruction. Right? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't want to be used. But this eye doesn't want to be used. The bad eye? They're all bad. Look at that. None of them want to be used. This is what I gotta deal with. Just random objects going on strike, man. What is this? What is this nonsense? This messed up. It's messed up, man. Wither bones. What are these for? I can make blocks with them? Oh? Oh, I can't. oh wait, wait, wait a minute. It's th oh wait, no, it's three. Okay, it still works, okay. So what can I do with these? I can make wither lamp, glowstone cage lantern. That's interesting, look good. Lower bone mail. I can cook it to make, oh, black dine, that's nice. Uh, oh, oh. Hello. These would be. These would go well in. I was using the wrong words. These would go well within my bewitchment area. Now, unfortunately, I can't make these, or I would love to put them in the bewitchment area too. I've never seen. That's what I'm saying. How am I supposed to get to the end? I 
I can make ender blocks? Oh, nice. It makes a whole lot of nothing, that does. Andrew, was that an eye? A witch eye. A witch has a small chance of dropping it. Well, I'll be. Uh, this pure is believed to have seen ancient green recipes that were lost in time. Huh. And remastered. Oh, so the end's gonna have some interest. What is this? It's cut off, so I can't quite see it. So I'm gonna need two hearts of the sea. Interesting. That's what I need. I need to get to... I'm gonna get the mining pyramid section up and running. Oh, wait. How far out am I going? Do I have any? I don't have any. Oh, I do have some blighted. Ooh, nice. Okay. So I'm going out from this point. One, two, three. So it's three here. Did I fill these in? When did I fill these in? Oh, no. It's back here that they were broken. Okay. The end point is here. So three out. Three out, three up. Got it, got it, got it. Now, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go right? Or... Yeah, north that I can shoot. I don't... If I go east, there is an underground ravine that's here. If I go over here, I gotta deal with all the trees in the swamp, which I'm sure is gonna be more underground stuff because it's a bayou and I've already seen a bunch of caves leading underground. Same as over here because it's still a bayou. I guess I'm gonna go this way, but I don't want to. I just remembered the underwater part. One, two, three. So it's stopping here. Empty, empty, wood, stone. Three up. Empty, empty, wood, stone. Wait. So what is this chunk? Not this chunk. This chunk's still separating, but this chunk. This chunk is what I needed. And it's right over the ravine. Pain. Get here. Why'd I choose this? Because the swamp is the best for mushrooms. I know. But it still doesn't make it less annoying. Uh, I have a lot of filling in that needs to be done. A lot more filling than there is removing. Now the idea for the mining chunk, or the mining section, which is going to be that chunk, is then pretty much just stripping all the way down to bedrock in that chunk. For every last bit of dirt, say, like this chunk. Besides the walls, the, the end portion here, all the way around. 
will be cleared out. No, I'll probably clear out this spot the entirety of the chunk all the way down. And then I'll build from there. I'll put the walls up and everything, of course. But I'm going to be clearing out the, the entire chunk. And then strip mining from there. Why, you ask? Without asking? Simply because of more villagers. I'm not gonna do that. So the, the villagers that I'm gonna eventually be putting out, which in these houses... Let me grab dirt before I run out again. So I'm distracting myself. You don't have dirt. Mimic, do you still have my dirt? Yeah, you do. Alright, give me that dirt. Thank you. Where's my bear? I'm not going to be able to put any blighted down yet, though. I'm going to be in this chunk. Double checking. Three out from here. So one, two, three. So I'll be in this chunk. up for the doorway, swap back to my axe, which I swapped out of on accident. Okay, there we go. Uh, just found out you can place any rods down as lights. Place rods. Oh, you, wait, you can? Wait a minute. Why are you still in my house? You have your own. You can! Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> I forgot that I'm in a copy. Nice. You? All right, let me get the dirt. Wait, why am I putting dirt down? I'm stripping all of this anyways. What I need. No, yes. This is the magical tool I needed. Why are you spacing out of my house? You're just like, okay, get out. Get out, 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 out. Go on. Leave. Oh, that's what you're going for. Son of a... No. Always making life difficult. Get off the wall. Don't jump in the fire, though. Okay, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, okay. That's you're going up for the thing again. I was like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I came back over here for. Oh, I grabbed the sponges already. I got a heap of them. Oh, tree. The goblin pits are awesome. So I have a lot of water to get rid of. Luckily, I got sponges. Getting rid of all of this is going to be a pain, though. Ah, uh, most definitely going to be a pain. Can do the 
chunk I'm using is this. This is my chunk. So outside my chunk, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in a bit. Uh, not this far. Fill in a bit. Now a build one would be fantastic right about now. I'll have to replace the dirt or something later. I'll probably do cobblestone. And I'm gonna have heaps of it after this anyways. Realized we might get a Ruby Red Minecraft stream. Oh, ho! Oh no, I didn't even think about that. I registered that he thought it might look interesting and fun that he wants to try it, but didn't even register that he might stream it too. That'd be good watching. Why that just dawned on me now, all of a sudden. I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time getting rid of a lot of water over here. Oh boy. Luckily I bought sponges from a goblin trader, in fact. How much more? Not that much more. Alright. Here, I'll be walling this off. Come on. That's not what I wanted. And here we go. Oop. I'll be able to get rid of all this water here soon. Maybe. go it is now all cleared out now i'm just gonna have to figure out how to get rid of it because it's just gonna keep refilling itself actually i already i, I can know how now Break you? Alright, now that I got to start it, I'll easily be able to get rid of it. Beautiful! Break fast with not an axe, not a shovel. Pickaxe? Nope, just hand. All right, got it. I'll have to pick him up. Son of a. Alright. Can 
be more complicated than I thought it would be. Might be a lot of water, but it can't beat willy-nilly placements. What is that? Oh, that's the water. Alright. Now I gotta pick all these up. Let's start from the bottom. Some good reach on me. Didn't realize. Can't quite reach that one. Can't quite reach that one. All right. Now comes the annoying part of dropping down here repeatedly. too soon. Is that all of them? Nice. Just avoid taking full damage all together. DP home. And throw them all in the furnace. Get all my sponges back. Nice, nice, nice. That's going. Just need some food. What's up, bear? Good catch. Good catch. Did the chicken get out again? Oh no, there's a chicken. I wish I can. I need to go spray a mushroom over there. Alright, speed boost. Finish up over here. There was a pyramid right here, but I got rid of it. Because it wasn't in the correct location. Alright, so that's everything. So now I can just start digging just down. Could be a lot. Oh, it's gonna be a whole lot. But I need to get a mine shaft going. I think I'll do water elevators up and out. Down on the very bottom floor, I think I'm just gonna throw on some mycelium so I can just drop. Don't have to worry about elevator going down, just up. That don't take any fall damage on mycelium. Mm-hmm. It's a dirt floor on the very bottom. Got it. That'll be easy enough to spread. Nice. Alright. I'll deal with this next time, because I reached my allotted time. I don't want to push it anymore. I already have an hour over. And luckily enough, no internet issues, but I'm pretty sure I'm pushing it. And we're going to end off today well. So everybody, thank you for watching and staying tuned to the stream as well. It was an honor to have you guys here. I hope to see you guys here next time. Remember, I do not stream on... Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because I don't really have time to do that. But I will still be doing YouTube. So everybody, stay awesome, stay cool, stay hydrated. And see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day.